See these hieroglyphs? Look familiar? This is definitely the same writing we've come across before. Wait a second. This is a new one. Oh! Prodigious! This is amazing! Do you know what I'm thinking? I've got a feeling you're going to tell us! Well, you see, it's quite possible that these hieroglyphs are not a form of writing at all, but rather code, computer code. If you change a piece of the code, then you change the program. Ah! Like that, for example. Wait, back up. Are you telling us that this whole place is some kind of giant computer game and that none of it is really real? Oh, it's real, all right. Huh? You know... I'm thinking that everything we see and everybody we meet in this place are actually pieces of data or programming given physical form. Now, wait a second. If you're right and this whole thing's one big computer, then how did we get here? Did we squeeze in through the floppy drive? No, we're just kilobytes of data, too. I mean, the versions of us that are in here. If I'm just data, why do I still feel like I'm flesh and blood? And I still have to go to the little girl's room. You don't really, you just think you have to. Oh, well, I hope you're right, cause... Where's the real us? Our flesh and blood bodies? I don't know. I suppose we're back at the campground still. Oh? Uh -huh. Yeah, we're alive back there. We exist simultaneously with our other selves. We're in a parallel digital universe like the Digimon. Does that mean I don't have to worry about brushing my teeth anymore? We've got bigger things to worry about now, TK. Although, do us all a favor and don't stop brushing. Yeah, please. Hey! Wait a second, I've got an idea. Let me see, if I can just crack this program. Uh-oh, uh -oh, he's in computer dark mode. This could take a while. Whoa! Oh. I've called up a holographic map of the Digi-World. You can see how physically similar it is to the planet Earth. In fact, there are a lot of parallels with our world. That's terrific, Izzy. Great time for a geography lesson. Pay attention and you might learn something. Yeah? If I enter the email address of the person who contacted us, I can find his location in the Digi-World here. Now, look. That email address is from a web domain in our world. I've logged on to it a thousand times. Is there a point to this somewhere? Is the person who sent the message in our world or the Digi-World? That's just the thing. He's in both. Look. The Digi-World's on the left. The world we know is on the right. And if I overlay them like so... The white lines match up perfectly. What does it mean? Reminds me of the balls of yarn my kitty used to play with. That's the world's digital network. Through those lines, every computer on Earth is connected to every other computer. The Digi-World is a physical embodiment of the data passing through them. Guys, we're seeing something nobody else has ever seen, that nobody even knows about. The digital shadow world that exists alongside our own. And they're not just parallel, they're physically linked. So anything we do here will have effects on the other. For real? Intense. Yeah, and here's the coolest part. Wherever this person is in the digi-world, I think I can take us there just by entering his email address and clicking on it. Like accessing a web page. No talks making my head spinning. Computer guys can never just do something, TK. That'd be too easy. They gotta spend all day telling you how they'll do it. 